Hi guys. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about uh, cartridge case uh, annealing or stress relieving. Now this is a uh, Lapua 308 Winchester Palma case and it's an example of uh, a nicely annealed or stress relieved cartridge case. You can see the junction just below the uh, the shoulder here there's a color change and that color change is indicative of the uh, annealing or heat treating process that this brass went through because brass should be fairly hard in the case head area to withstand the pressure but it should be softer at the uh, the front and the, uh, the softer uh, portion at the front contributes to letting the, the cartridge case expand and seal the chamber so that you don't get blowback by the, uh, the walls of the case and it also keeps the, uh, the cartridge case more ductile in this area and it will survive more sizing and firing cycles before it splits. So I'm just showing you that as an example of sort of an ideal situation. We're going to look at some 762 by 54 brass that I have here. And this has been fired uh, and sized a number of times. This is Privy Partisan brass with that uh, Cyrillic head stamp. I'm not sure exactly how many times this has been loaded and fired since the last time it was annealed. But it's, been, it's also been polished a number of times and polishing in a case tumbler will remove the color from the, uh, the heat treating process. The traditional method of, uh, of doing this, or the suggested traditional method for accomplishing this, involves standing the cartridge cases up in a pan of water, heating them with a torch, and tipping them over. The problem with that is it leaves uh, one side much more uh, heated than the other, so you get a very uneven uh, distribution of heat through the this portion of the case and generally it reduces the case to a dead soft state which means it's easy to collapse the uh, the shoulder when you're reloading it so ideally we don't want to actually anneal the brass what we want to do is just heat treat it or stress relieve the uh, the built up stresses that are in the brass from firing and sizing so the method that i use doesn't involve uh, anything other than just a simple torch, you know, propane powered torch, and a container of water, and your fingers. So, a lot of people will do this using a, uh, a drill, like a cordless drill with a socket chucked in it to rotate the brass in the flame. I don't really like that method all that much because you really have no idea of how much heat is getting down to the case head, and you don't want to soften the case head any because it needs to stay hard in order to uh, withstand the pressures and the abuse that uh, extraction gives it. So my method involves just using your fingers to rotate the brass. Assuming you've got reasonably good uh, feeling in your fingers, you shouldn't get yourself hurt doing this other than the fact that you are around a, a flame, so obviously don't go sticking your fingers in the flame. So we'll fire the torch up here and we'll demonstrate the uh, procedure. We'll keep the torch lit here. There we go. So basically just grasp the cartridge case with your fingers and hold the neck in the flame, rotating it around and you can start to see the color change and before the cartridge gets too hold, hot to hold onto, just dunk it in the water. And simply repeat that with all your cartridge cases. And like I said, assuming you've got uh, reasonably good feeling in your fingers, you will not let the cartridge case get too hot to hold onto. You can either drop the case completely in the water or just dunk the neck of it in the water like I do. You see the color changing? You hear that little bit of a hiss as we drop the case into the water. And continue to rotate the cases to get the heat evenly spread around. So I'll zoom in a little bit closer here so we can uh, see the color change happening hopefully. So there's the cartridge case beforehand. You want these to be fairly clean so you can see what's going on. And you can see the color change happening. And there's what it looks like after it's been heat treated. So it doesn't take very long to do all your cases using this method, just a few minutes. Just uh, using some caution of course so as not to burn yourself. 
I guess if you're safe enough to be around a gun, you should be safe enough to be around a propane torch. Anyway, doing this uh, procedure to your cases every you know, five or six reloads will uh, dramatically extend their life, prevent uh, cracking, and it'll also prevent a lot of the, uh, the blowback around the cartridge case that you'll get when brass gets too hard. And that'll keep your, uh, your gun and your action cleaner and your brass cleaner as well. So all in all, it's a, it's a good simple process, easy to do, and it provides a good return on your uh, investment in time because your brass will last a long time. And brass is, after all, the most expensive component of your reloaded ammunition. So there's, uh, there's the heat treated brass. A little water still left on it. You can see the kind of the rainbow color change there. And we'll compare that to two that haven't been done yet. So you can see the difference there. Anyway, that's my take on uh, this procedure. Thanks for watching, guys. We will talk to you later.